Run that back, turbo. I just got 10 million bucks for shit that I ain't even do yet You spent your money, but I ain't say I was your boo yet You got your feelings hurt, I ain't really mean to do that I'm just a bad bitch, I'm sorry I put you through that I'm from New York, but we don't never say good morning Alright, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Taj TV Alright, so today is a very great day, okay? So, the Real Housewives of Atlanta have broken the internet today, okay? So, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the official cast photo has been leaked and the trailer has been released. And the world is shaking. This is shaking the table. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into this. So, as you can see, the ladies all look lovely. And I'm going to break down each female, but... These ladies look fabulous. Like, I'm not taking nothing away from any of them. All of them look absolutely amazing in this all black. They look elegant. You know, they look classy. Like, they are coming for their things. But, honey, you know I got to get into the H-B-I-C. All right? Let's break all of the ladies down. So, first, I'm going to get into Nini. This look from Nini is giving me everything. I love the sleeves. I love everything about the dress. I love everything about it. Like, I love this look on her. Let's go ahead. You know the threat is here to stay, honey. All right, so let's see who I want to get into next. Let's get into Miss Portia. Portia is, you know, Portia is sickening. You know, she just had a baby. Her and Dennis are going to be, you know, going through their things on the season. And... I just want to see what Portia and her relationship is looking like this season and exactly, you know, how her and Dennis are going to work that out with having a little child. But let's go back to Nene Leakes because I really didn't get into the queen. All right, so Greg is cancer-free. And now we just want to just, you know, continue to send prayers to the family. Greg is cancer-free. And I feel like Nene is going to be working on rekindling her friendship with Cynthia and other people and also showcasing her businesses. So, you know, she has Swag Boutique, and now she has a, a spot on the strip at the MGM. So, you know, shout out to the queen, Nene Leaks. All right, next, let's get into Miss Candy Birds next. Candy is a businesswoman, a boss. You can't say Candy Birds without seeing boss. Now, I'm just going to put some respect on her name. She got credit. You know, she she's out here killing the game, writing. You know, but for me, I love Candy. Shout out old lady gang, bedroom candy. She got businesses, okay? She got businesses. But, you know, I, I know I seen her from the trailer. We don't get into the trailer, but from um, the trailer, what I seen, you know, her and Todd are going to be going through their things. And, you know, I just want to see how that dynamic is going to work. Because, you know, candy, uh, 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 storyline, I don't know. Next line, next person, Eva Marcel. Now, Eva Marcel is pregnant on the show, and I think she's going to end up having her baby. Um, I think she may be still pregnant. I don't know. Don't, don't shoot me. But Eva is pregnant on the show, and I think she's going to be coming for her things as well. Like, Eva can hold her own, America's Next Top Model. She's coming with her family. Nice, fun, wholesome, you feel me? She's going to throw her shade in, and she's going to, you know, carry her bones too. So, Eva is good in my eyes. Next up is Cynthia, baby. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Now, I love me some Cynthia Bailey, but I don't know which way she blowing in the wind. Now, I don't know which way she blowing in the wind, but I know that this season is going to be focused on her and her relationship, her and chill, and, you know, they going to do what they going to do. But I'm really just focused on what, what she going to bring to this season because is it going to be like last season because I want to follow up with the mess from last season with Kenya, we're going to get to her next. But I want to follow up with the mess because, you know, Cynthia, you know, to me, I see right through it. But she's a good person, but I see right through it. Like, I see through all of that. Like, they had you. Y'all was mic'd. Y'all was most definitely mic'd up. And I just want to also say that, you know, I, I, I'm I rude for Cynthia. Like, I ain't no shade to her. But you know how these relationships work for storylines and stuff? I ain't really saying that it's a storyline. But I'm going to say this. That people do things when them cameras get the rolling. All right, last 
but not least, let's get into Kenya Moore. All right, so Kenya has been in the tabloids and she has been in the press for a whole lot of things. Now, I've seen Kenya in the press these last couple of days. They announced their separation. They both gave a statement. And for me, it's like, okay, it's just so funny that right before they revealed the cast and, you know, all of that, like, then I read a report the other day that she was, re- she was reportedly, you know, promoted to full cast after all of this with, with her husband. So, hey, I don't know, but I know that when it comes to these reality shows, these storylines are, are what keep people watching. And I feel like that's what the networks drive for. But honey, at what cost is it? I mean, no shake to Miss Kenya. She's never been my favorite. And, you know, I just know that how they played the season last, how they played it last season was most definitely to get Kenya back. And I had to sell my tea on that. But all of those ladies look fabulous. Now let's get into the trailer. You're not going to stand up and say nothing? Stop it! I told you that lady was crazy. Where is security? Can you get out of here? Please, no, 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 no. Pause. Let's start from the beginning. No frats, no We have moved on to the next level. Work your body. Woo! Happy life. We're going to carnival. Get him all this postpartum realness, bitch. Shake your titties, honey. Trying to tell you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone seems like they're exactly where they want to be. I want you to be my forever. But you always kind of expect some bullshit to be coming. You got six new businesses and you ain't did nothing with them. You creep around Atlanta. I creep around Atlanta. How you feel about open marriages? You know, I made a mistake. I'm like, I'm gonna work it out. But some stuff is not forgivable. Are you happy in this marriage? We're in a really low place right now. Do you have a prenup with your husband? You can take everything. I'll build it again. And you had sexual affairs, and this person is in my face all the time. <laughs> Drama. You don't want a problem with me. Vice versa. Trust me. Cynthia has a side to her that you guys do not know about. Everything in the dark comes to light. Somebody recorded you dogging her out. Bitch. Somebody in this room is the snake. As you can see, the girls are getting into their things this season. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for all the shade. I'm ready for all the reads. I'm ready for all the mess. I'm ready for it all. Like, I really do want to see the girls, you know, all come together. Now, don't get me wrong. I live for the drama. I live for the mess and the shade. Just a little bit. But I want the ladies to all come together. I do want to see them, you know, unite and come together and not bicker and, you know, do all of that. But I need to see some bickering. I need to see some mess. I need to see some drama. Because y'all ain't going to be all playing kumbaya and singing, you know, uh, singing lovely daisies and all of that. But I just want to say, you know, I love these women. And regardless how I feel about them personally, like, I know it's reality TV. So at the end of the day, the girls are getting their coins. At the end of the day, get y'all coins and get your businesses, okay? And I will be watching. Also, if you are watching, best believe we are on the road to the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. That's right. The season premieres November the 3rd only on Bravo TV, honey. You better get it together. And I'm ready for the fall to really just kick off because I feel like that's when all the really good shows, you know, come back is during the fall. So... I will be following all of the ladies and I will not be holding any bias. A lot of people ask me about Marlo and Tanya. Marlo and Tanya will also be on the show and they will also be bringing a drama. You know Marlo is going to be there and Tanya Sam is also going to be there. But if you are listening to this and if you are following this, I have a Nene Leaks Instagram page. That's right. The queen follows me. Also, Tanya follows me as well too. So go ahead and follow the HBIC Nene Leaks on Instagram. And that is the page that I run strictly for the queen. And with Real Housewives of Atlanta coming back, we are going to be getting into some things because I don't like how they try to play me. 
So that's why I create the page. But nevertheless, no stress. This is Taj TV signing off with another video. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss a notification every time I drop a new video. And also, make sure that you like this video and drop a comment. Tell me who your favorite housewife is. Tell me who looked the best. Whose look did you think slayed the girls? Now get into it. But not too much. All right, this is Taj TV signing off with another video, okay? So stay messy, not too messy, but with a little bit of shade. All right, I'm out.